Yo everybody, it's Alex with Team Aguilar Real Estate checking in with you today and um, I was curious, do you ever wonder what we do at a typical REO inspection? Um, it's not a whole lot, but every week most banks require you to go out to the property, snap a couple pictures, make sure everything is still in good order. They even want you to take a picture sometimes. They don't even ask for it, but I, I always do it. They always say, Take a picture of yourself at the property. I even include my cell phone in there so they know exactly the day and time that I was there because I know there's some realtors out there that cheat and they don't go out to the inspection and they, uh, they don't take, they'll go out there once in a month and they'll take four different sets of photos. And I know they do it because I've seen them, I've heard of them. So what do we do when we go out to a typical inspection? Well, this is a property, this is a small, small, studio unit down here in Little Italy. Basically, we make sure the water is still working. We look for the, uh, the date on these air fresheners to know the last time the, uh, the vendor came through and cleaned the property. We make sure that we've got plenty of flyers here, color flyers. I always check underneath the sink. I always look for any water leaks. Make sure that uh, everything is in good order. Uh, go into the uh, bathroom, we do the same thing. We check the water, make sure the water is working. I usually flush the toilet. Look for any, uh, any leaks. Same thing in the shower area. The one thing that drives me crazy on bank-owned properties is the vendors and the cleaning that they do because in my opinion, the cleaning is always lacking in so many ways. It drives me crazy. In this particular property, I have been trying to get the vendor to clean this patio for six months and to them this is clean. Does that look clean to you? That sure as hell doesn't look clean to me. Little things that drive me crazy. You know, you see all the dust and the dirt inside the window here? Those are things that become our problem because we're not bringing it to the bank's attention. We bring it to the bank's attention and they the vendor that works for the bank that does the cleaning, they say they come out and do it, but they don't do anything. Look at all the dust in there. Look at the dirt and the shit. Look at that. That's disgusting. This window hasn't been cleaned. Hey, hey look at there. You know, so there's not a whole lot to inspect with this property. Also check the thermostat and uh, we usually have this set to like 74 or 76. We want to make sure that is uh, keeping the unit fairly uh, cool or in a comfortable, comfortable temperature. I always check the closets. You never know what you're going to find. I still think I'm going to come across a dead body or someone hiding. I have come across living people before that have been hiding. And that scared the shit out of me. But I haven't found any dead people yet, so that's that's a good, good positive sign. So, that's about it. And then in case anybody's wondering, just for our regular listings, if you're a seller out there and you're thinking of selling, um, any of our vacant listings that we have for regular sellers, we go by them and we inspect them once a week and we do basically the similar thing. We always take a photo of ourselves at the property. Because if you're out of the area and you're selling a local property, you want to know that you know, two weeks later you come home and you find out it burnt down or the house is flooded and we don't even know what the hell's going on. So that's about it. The inspections are rather boring. They're not, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, excitement that goes on here, but that's what we do. We try to get out to every property once a week and make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. So this is Alex with Team Aguilar, and we'll talk to you later. Hope everybody's having a great day.